Robert Kirk, a 17th century Scottish clergyman and scholar of the supernatural, immersed his life in the study of a hidden world barely visible to mortal eyes. Born in 1644 in Aberfoyle, a place already shrouded in the mystery of the Scottish Highlands, Kirk had an innate fascination with Gaelic traditions and beliefs. His most famous work, The Secret Commonwealth of Elves, Fauns and Fairies, posthumously published in 1691, is a detailed compendium of his encounters and investigations into the fairy beings and an enigmatic secret community existing parallel to the human world. In its pages, Kirk unveils the existence of an ethereal realm inhabited by a variety of creatures. From elves of noble lineage and playful fauns to fairies of strange beauty with powers both benevolent and malevolent. Kirk described these fairy beings not as mere folklore fantasies, but as entities with their own lives, customs and hierarchies. He spoke of how these creatures interacted with each other, and occasionally with selected humans, to whom they revealed secrets of nature and the cosmos. The secret commonwealth, according to Kirk, was a distorted reflection of human society, with its own laws and social order, but invisible to most, accessible only through spiritual visions or fortuitous encounters in places of power, like ancient stone circles. The story takes an even more fascinating turn with the mysterious death of Kirk in 1692. It is said that during an evening stroll on Fairy Hill near his home in Aberfoyle, Kirk collapsed and died, possibly from a heart attack. However, local legends suggest that he was taken into the fairy realm for revealing their secrets to the human world. This belief was reinforced by reports that his spirit appeared to a relative, urging them to go to his grave and retrieve a hidden manuscript that would reveal even more about these mysterious beings. Although this manuscript was never found, the tale has perpetuated the intrigue and mystery surrounding Kirk's life and death. Today, the figure of Robert Kirk and his literary legacy invite us on a journey into the depths of Scottish folklore and Celtic mythology, offering a window into a world where magic and the mundane intertwine. His writings on the secret Commonwealth have not only inspired generations of folklorists and paranormal enthusiasts, but have also fueled the imagination of those seeking to understand the complexity of interactions between humans and the mysterious inhabitants of the other world. In Kirk's exploration of these ethereal creatures, we find a lasting testament to human curiosity and the desire to discover what lies beyond the veil of our reality. Among the mists of the Scottish Highlands, the figure of Robert Kirk reminds us of the thin line between history and myth, and how some truths may be stranger than fiction. Hey.